here, Stacy Burke here, and it's a Monday, so that means it's another grocery haul. And it's a hot one, ladies and gentlemen. It is over 100 degrees here on the beach. Do you see the sweat? Do you see the sweat? <sighs> I barely put any makeup on because I don't like when the makeup just runs down your face. So, I might hurry up with this grocery haul because I got some things that might melt. So, ugh. right now, poor little Clyde, my little dog, is so hot. I actually got one of those inflatable pools, but I deflated a little bit and I put it in the bathtub. Because you know how sometimes you, you can fill up a bathtub, but it, it'll the water will evaporate eventually, like it leaks a little bit. So I got a little inflatable two-ring pool squished it into the bathtub and that way it's like his little pool and he can go in and out and if you know from last year we have a, a bigger plastic pool we put on the balcony which we'll probably do eventually as well but anyway excuse the dirty dishes in here my husband's working from home because he's doing that radiation from uh the cancer surgery excuse my top <laughs> excuse my top and i'm wearing a banana comb banana comb for my pigtail, because I love banana combs. They need to come back in style. I love them. We get it on Amazon. Okay, so let's get this party started. The magic number is $151.96. Yes, I had to get a lot today. Also, since Roy's been working from home and trying to eat healthy, it's, it's kind of expensive as well. And we need a lot of stuff. Right? It was time to get more cat food. Nine lives, and I always get the one for urinary tract infections because kitty cats, especially boy kitty cats, for some reason boy kitty cats are very prone to urinary tract infections. So I always buy special food for urinary tract to pH balance. So we got that. We got cat food. Might as well get the heavy stuff out first. We've been drinking tons of water, so I got more water, of course. Excuse me, Clyde. And we'll get these out of the way too. The boring stuff, as you know, my selectasize. Oh no, this is my my bathroom tissue, my toilet paper. And this is my select. I have coupons, so I use some coupons. I had coupons for all this, so I got more uh, paper towels. So that those bags are gone. All right. Let's see. And during the summer, summer loving, I got me a skinny margarita. I don't know. We'll see how that it is. I had the others, the Skinny Girl Margaritas. I didn't really like them too much because they tasted too salty. This one's Margaritaville Skinny Margarita, only 95 calories per glass. So I thought I would get that. That would be good for the summer, right? I thought that would be good for the summer. Now, this was on sale, I think, for $11. Now, you know I get Clyde's special that I, I want to say from, but it's from that special uh, dog food I usually get them. But this is grain free, uh, so I thought I would just get them some of that to mix in with the good stuff. Um, this is good stuff too, but it's probably not as good as the from. Uh, but it looks like it's grain free, and it's so I thought I would give that a try for Mr. Clyde. So that bag is gone. And as you know, ooh, all these chips look broken. You know how we always get chips. Oh. They look all broken. I think they packed it in the bag. They squished it. Oh, well. We got broken chips. Yay. Okay. Now, I got um, Roy rotisserie chicken because he was trying not to do the fried chicken for a while because he's trying to be healthy uh, for the radiation and stuff. But I felt bad because it's been a while and he's been at home. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to get him rotisserie chicken. It's more healthy than a fried, so I got him some chicken. And then, since he's on a healthy kick, I got him some nectarines, which I gotta put away, but these are nectarines. I got him some apples. And I think I got him some plums. I just got him two of each, because they spoil, and sometimes he doesn't really feel like having them. But uh, I just got two of each because we still have apples and lemons and some and pears from last week that he hasn't touched. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we 
we've been running out of mac and cheese because to, to, come on, you could eat a whole box, right? I could eat a whole box. Like when you make macaroni and cheese, it's hardly anything. So I got a bunch of cheap macaroni and cheeses. They were like 50 cents each. So I got a bunch of cheap macaroni and cheeses. And then I got one good mac and cheese, because I haven't really had these yet, but uh, deluxe mac and cheddar, so I got some of that. Those are good, you know, it's good to have side pieces and stuff. And I've been wanting some more fiber, so I got some fiber gummies. Yay, fiber gummies. We needed more coffee. And I usually like really strong coffee, so we get black silk. However, now that it's hot, uh, today's my first day that I've been making my iced coffee. And I think I did the recipe before, if you look at past ones. What I do is I get ice cubes, I get instant coffee, I get uh, frozen berries, I put some chia seeds, maybe I'll also put some um, fiber, that fiber powder, maybe I'll put some protein powder in it, and then I'll put some creamer, and then I blend it all up like a frappuccino, and then I take that to work. And and the chia seeds and, um, and the powder fiber makes it really thick, so you could just keep the refrigerator, so it feels like it's frozen longer, like it stays frozen, because the chia seeds and the fiber thickens the shake up, so it feels like you have, you know, ice cream or like a frozen drink at all times, but Royce likes his hot coffee, so I got more coffee, and like I said, I usually like General Foods International um, instant coffee, but since I have like a flavored creamers, I went ahead and just got normal uh, coffee. This better not be uh, decaffeinated. I think this is regular, right? Better not be. Better not be decaffeinated. What's the point, right? Uh, so I got some instant coffee so I could make my um, frappuccinos in the morning. And the trail mix. I always buy some extra nuts to go in the trail mix. So there's some nuts. And what do you call it? These uh, sandwich bags. This is for pooping, scooping, and for, you know, what you use sandwich bags for. And we're out of toothpaste, and I always like the baking soda and the peroxide with extra whitening. And I like crest usually. So I got more toothpaste. That one's gone. I'm kind of like, can you tell it's really hot? I'm kind of like, I feel like a, a loose noodle. Ugh. Every week, you know, we get tortillas. We just, we love tortillas. You gotta have tortillas. You gotta have them. And Mama, this weekend, Mama ran out of champagne because I forgot to get some. I only have like a couple of bottles. And yeah, when it's hot out, you have, we had Bay Day this weekend. We had two Bay Days, which, you know, basically beach days. And as you can tell, I got fried. And I, I have, I have my mimosa. And so I ran out of mimosa, and I had one champagne in there that's been there for a while, and I opened it. Oh, my God, it was disgusting. I don't know if you ever had, like, white wine or champagne that's been on the pantry a little bit too long, and, it, and you open it up, and it looks yellow. It looks like pee, and it pretty much tastes like pee. It was disgusting. So Mama had to get more champagne. So I not only got one bottle... I got two. I had to get two. Because I can't run out. Ooh, I can't run out again. This will, this will be good for next weekend. And I, I past two Mondays, I forgot these renews it. Luckily, I had some stored up. Um, but you know how I put that in my closet all the time. I think Roy's over the man cave thing. Plus, now that it's so hot, we have the windows open, so he doesn't really need it anymore. So this goes in my closet. Okay, and you know, we always get broccoli and carrots for the bird, and for us, and I'm addicted to mushrooms. I could eat these like chips, I think I told you. I could put the heat on them and eat them like chips, I could put them in a dip, I could I could grill them, I, oh my god, I love mushrooms. I have my veggie burgers, because like I said, I'm trying to be vegetarian, or be more vegetarian. I still eat meat once in a while, but I'm doing more and more veggies, but this sauteed or like uh, grilled with the veggie burgers heaven heaven 
And of course cheese. We always have I love cheese. We always have to have cheese. Always have, oh I gotta put this in the freezer. And I got Roy some uh sherbet um last week because it you know has a radiation. It's it's burning his taste buds and it's kind of you can't really taste anything and ice cream seems to soothe them. So um we're running out of ice cream. So this one I got blueberry pam pomegranate chocolate chunk. And it's like a, it's kind of like a low fat ice cream. Still same calories though. But, so let me put this in the freezer right now before I forget. Yeah. And yeah, I put my coffee in the freezer. Anyone else does? I was told it keeps it fresh longer, but then I hear it's not true. I don't know. I just keep it in the freezer anyway. I was told it keeps it fresher, but then I'm hearing maybe that's not true. I don't know. <coughs> and my creamer. Now I'm going to be using a lot more of this since I'm making my frappuccinos. And to make salads, even though the last two bags I bought, still in the refrigerator. He hasn't been eating salads. I guess it's been kind of tearing up his, um, you know, his throat. It's just, it doesn't feel good on his throat. But just in case, because lettuce always spoils, I always have to buy it every week anyway. And since I'm making my frappuccinos, even though I got lots of berries last week, I have now Mama is going to be using berries. This is Mama's berries. This is for my frappuccinos. And see, these are the berries from last time. And I love my sour cream. I love dipping the spicy hot Cheetos. And sour cream it's so good so good and I love bean dip well sometimes I'll take to work if I don't know what I want to eat I just have some bean dip and some sour cream and I get some um, flaming hot Cheetos and I dip it oh and I also have guacamole I keep guacamole in the freezer I keep these little things they're 100 calorie packs guacamole this is so cool you could like literally take this and it's basically like a, a three a three dip what do you call it a three bean dip or whatever Awesome. Awesome. It's just so yummy. So yummy. And sometimes I like to make toast and I'll put that on there. I'll put some guacamole on the toast and some tomatoes. Oh, so good. So good. So good. And since I got some mac and cheese, I needed some butter because I love the Kerry Gold butter, but you can't really measure it. So I need some butter that I can measure. So I got real butter. I don't know if this is good. I want to try this. Um, it, it's real butter. So better be so I got some butter so when I make mac and cheese you see I like Carrie's gold so good but so good by itself I don't want to mess it up in, in mac and cheese plus you can't really measure it too well I need it stuff that I could measure so all, right. all right almost done oh and this is like a spur of the moment thing. I love salsa and I love my cilantro salsa the best. But this is a habanero. It's supposed to be extra, extra hot. So I can't wait to try this. Tostitos extra hot habanero. Mm, that looks really good. And for Clyde, now that it's hot, I put one of these in the refrigerator. They're just canned foods. And then I mix it up with this dry food so it kind of cools them off. In fact, I'll probably give him lunch like that right now because I usually feed them around uh, 5 30 in the morning and then when I come home around 2 he gets lunch and then 8 o'clock he gets dinner so. these are all canned food for Frankie my cat who has sensitive gums so these are all pate can cat food and I think, ladies and gentlemen, that's $151.49. Kevin to Murgatroyd. Doesn't seem that much, does it? But the cat food is that big bag of cat food costs a lot. And I'm sure my margarita and stuff like that. So, yeah, I would have got more powder fiber because I like to make my coffee with the powder fiber. But this was only $10. And the powder fiber... And I don't want the orange. They only have this a one that was like a curb your appetite fiber, and it was twenty bucks. And this was only ten. And I'm like, well, maybe I'll just skip putting the uh, powder in my 
my frappuccino. Maybe I'll do another video how I make my um, frappuccinos, but I already did one, so I don't know. What's the point? You know, basically you just fill up the blender full of ice cubes, uh, frozen berries, chia seeds, um, powdered fiber, uh, instant coffee, and, and cream and your creamer of choice, and you blend it up and you put it in a cup and you could either put it in the freezer before you go to work and then take it so it's like really cold and the, the like I said the fiber and the chia seeds um, makes it thick all day long like as long as you want it as long as you keep it in the refrigerator you don't really need the freezer so it's good it's good all right well I'm gonna get out of here because I'm already kind of feeling weak because it's so hot and I need to put everything away. So I hope everyone's having a groovy day. And until next time, to all my Stace Cadets and my Briquettes, peace.